guys, so it is Saturday, uh, January 13th, and we're at the border crossing into Chihuahua. And uh, we had a long night, long flight. It was a mess, we didn't film. My camera got checked at the gate, long story, but we are doing the uh, gun permits, checking in at the border. And uh, we rounded up with a bunch of our buddies from Arizona. And we're just going through the process. It's a really simple. We've got all the permits and everything ready to go. They're just checking serial numbers and VINs and going through. But uh, we got about a five hour drive and uh, Chihuahua's way further south uh, than Sonora. So we're hunting coos deer in a type of terrain I've never expected to see them. It sounds like pine trees and a lot colder temperatures. Uh, but we should have a lot of fun. We've got four, four days still, short trip, but we're gonna make it count. We might have to stay longer. Well, I don't think Rocky's gonna be leaving the baby one day longer than she has to. So. No way. So we're in the middle of a six-hour drive across Chihuahua, heading south. There's some big mountains. There's Dimitro. He's the ranch owner we're hunting with. My buddy, Dr. Drew Ballard, and Leonel El Jefe. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, looks just like Arizona, just big old Sonoran desert. And then these mountains on the right, I was just going to show you how epic they are. They're like 9,000 feet, big old Audad and, and coos deer, believe it or not. That's the, the coos deer are, are like the high country deer here, so it looks very coozy. Getting excited. Just rolling through downtown Chihuahua. Mrs. Grizz. I'm loving it. You having fun? Yeah, it's actually really pretty here. Is Dimitri behaving himself? He is. Yeah. Se porta bien, no? Good. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> you don't know? Yeah, I don't know. I was like, hey, we're going get myself a Okay, Rocky, eat that quesadilla. <laughs> Dimitri <laughs> just walks by. Holy cow, it looks like. Let's see what we got in here. That looks so damn good. What kind of cheese is that? Queso fresco. Mmm, muy bien. Mmm. You want to put some salsa on, or are you good? It's good. They got salsa up there. Cilantro. Wow, oh, it's okay. good. Really good. What did Dr. Ballard get? No sé. I don't even know what I got, man. What did we get, Do you know? Just try it. Burritos like. con, burrito con carne. No sé. Cool. Like sure smell good. You're Such missing a... out, man. Or you could live on Quest bars and almonds like me. <laughs> That's boring. After a long day on the road, we are here. Long. La Guajalota. Absolutely epic coos country. Got cedars, you got junipers, tons of water, oaks. It's gonna be awesome. And this house is so cool. Made of solid stone. Beautiful. It's big, man. Holy cow, it's a big house. We got here a little bit late, so we were like anxious to get chasing stuff. So we're gonna do a quick, quick unpack, and then we're gonna get dressed and get burning up there to start glassing. We got some, a lot of country to cover. Exciting. These old ranches are so cool. Check this out. Made by hand. Oh my bad. <laughs> on the cowboy yeah. You're gonna beat your butt when he finds out you've been wearing his gear. There we go. Is that the new Summit Flatty? Mm -hmm. This is a good luck hat. <laughs> Look at this awesome house. Just solid stone. I bet this thing gets so cold in the winter or it, yeah it insulates in the, in the yeah, winter. It's good for the summer. Summer it's times are just cool. awesome. It's just rad. So much. It's such a cool experience just to see this stuff. This one's got the amenities. I mean, it's a nice cabin. It's a lot more than what I've seen in those little pueblos and stuff. But this is 
rad. We, we made it all is uh, from this branch, the stones. Oh, right on. Like yeah. two years, like 15 guys. Just carried, <laughs> just carried yeah. Oh, okay. That's so awesome. Yeah, like two years. We... Good for you guys. Yeah, this is gonna stand like decades. Oh, beautiful. Hundreds of years. <laughs> So here's the abode, honeymoon suite. This is so awesome, we got a stove in here. It's just rad. We got a, our football games tonight. Yeah, we got cable. <laughs> no, no pasta nada, it's all good. I was just doing a tour. Yeah, we're really roughing it. Oh, and they got bunks for the Hunters and guests. Just an absolutely awesome place, this all Adobe. Yeah. It's pretty cool, man. There's another. It's got some good lighting in here. It's a giant house. It's gotta be 2,000 square feet. Wow. <laughs> Very impressed, amigo. Yeah, it gets yeah. really warm with. Oh, with the oh, stove, yeah. 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 This is awesome. I'm oh, okay. Impressed. I've seen enough. Let's it's go kill beautiful. a deer. Yeah. Okay, so we're really roughing it. <laughs> got, got direct TV. Got a badass fire. No deer tonight. We got in there kind of late and went glass a little bit. The country's awesome. I know they're here. Just didn't turn any up. So bright and early tomorrow. We got a new plan. We're gonna go check it out. Some other stuff. But for now, we're just gonna relax and soak it all in. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> second spot and it doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> definitely want to move we have glassed and we're way past the lake and we haven't seen a single deer so I mean I would definitely like to try some other spots It's been a long day of baking in the sun and sleeping and not seeing jack shiz. Uh, we've moved over the ridge to the backside. It's really good looking country. Really big glass and it's seven, eight hundred yards to the top there. These are all about 550, six, seven hundred over here. So we got a lot of, a lot of country to cover, but just got to get the deer moving. The sun's at our back, so if they show up, they're going to pop. It's pretty exciting. It's 4 o'clock, so we got about an hour, hour and a half to crank one. Okay, so we just blast up a big buck. And Zach's about ready to take the shot.
uh, this morning I missed a giant buck. Um, wasn't going to post it because it's kind of embarrassing, but I basically just doped the scope wrong. Wasn't paying attention. I uh, entered in, just read my load or uh, my cut chart wrong and doped it wrong and shot about three or four feet over his back and uh, he just trotted off. What just happened, babe? <laughs> hey, we're taking our siesta. It's like 11.30 or 12 right now. The whole crew, look at look over here. This is our nap. We sit, I sit up. I'm the only one awake. Come over here, run over here. Out of my bed, I look down at this pond and there's a big old butt drinking off the edge. He snuck in right around with all of us sleeping. He knew we were sleeping. Rocky's, Rocky's up, but I just grabbed the gun and said, dude, I don't have time because he started walking and I shot and missed him and then I shot and nailed him and he came back and died. I'm in my socks. I mean, it's like, I'm shaking like a leaf. I feel was, like I'm still dreaming. I'm still half asleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm still dreaming too, but there's my, I mean, look, there's the camp right there's there. There's so many weird times I woke up in like the last hour and hear weird stuff. <laughs> Dude, was he was like, right there on the shady side where those ducks are, just standing oh my there. Gosh. And then when he, when I, did he come back this way when I shot him? Yeah, yeah he headed toward us. I saw his tail doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was like a dream. Oh, Rocky, there's a bucket. Just to recap again, so naps, deer down. He's down in the bottom. We had our trip cut short, so we had two days to hunt. Come a long ways. A lot of people put a lot of effort into this, so it is so cool to be able to connect on one. Um, we're gonna go take a look at him right now. Stand by. The, the barrel was down though. Barrel was down. Barrel was pointed to the ground. Like I was carrying it, I was carrying it safely, but it was going in shot direction. Hey. There he is. Pretty cool character buck. Not quite as big as I hoped he was, but he's pretty damn sweet. Big heavy, real, just a clubby troll coos deer. Very cool buck. Shot went right through his opposite shoulder and right out the bottom of his heart. He was so steep of a cut, but always just pops up like that. You never see it coming, and then all of a sudden you're taking a nap, and there's a deer in your lap. So it's nice, babe. Good work. She she's very believable, isn't she? She really sells it to the camera. No, you really did great. ago so hopefully he will come back uh, we believe we saw the same deer last night and the more I watch the video the more I realize he is a badass deer he's got a cool inline he splits on his beam um, giant body and uh, Rocky's up so we got the 15s dialed that's the ridge line he's on somewhere in there it's about 550 yards we got the entourage over here handling biz los tres amigos <laughs> so everyone's optimistic it's the last night bottom of the ninth rocky's up and uh got really capable eyes on this hill so someone is going to turn him up if he's there and if he's there she's going to smoke him it's that frantic last hour we keep picking up single does and it's the rut like it's middle of january it's like the 17th there should be bucks with them so everyone yeah, look at the whole the crew is looking yeah, we got the gun doped this is intense. You can see the, the lights just fading. We got about 40 minutes. All right, so we're calling it a night. We're calling it a trip. We had an awesome experience with it. It was fun. Yeah, El Grande Outfitters.
Got one cool buck, missed a pig. I wanted Rocky to kill him tonight, but I blew it. So He's still hiding. Yeah, he knows. He never He's came smart. Out. He can get big being dumb, so. That's all right. We'll let him get bigger and come back next year. Awesome sunset. Go down. You're at the Remember door. Mexico? We will be back. Yes, sir. Dead and the building. Yeah.